Welcome back to another one of these videos where I update on this project. In the last video we did some motion capture and it went really pretty well. I'm very happy with many aspects of how that went. Uh, it, there were some things that didn't go well and I wanted to talk about both of those things. So what went well? We had a great session with Kia Jewel. So I hadn't met Kia in person before. We had just exchanged some mails. I really thought she did a, an, an incredible job. I'm really happy with the motions that we got. And overall, I just learned a ton from being, you know, the main operator there. I had a couple of helpers, uh, and they were super invaluable having them there. Uh, but the setting up and getting everything ready was mostly on me, and those helpers were all pretty new to this. What are the things that didn't go well? Well, one of them, you may have noticed, I didn't have any facial camera. I didn't have a head-mounted camera on to the actor to get facial performance while she was doing these dance moves. And this actually was intentional. I chose not to add that into the mix because I thought it would add a level of complexity that would be a little bit too much. So I thought perhaps this is going to uh, really be an issue for me going forward. I don't know, but I thought I'm going to record facial motion in a second pass. So I'll pick a dance move and then me or somebody else will make faces into the iPad uh, while that dance plays and I'll see how they marry up. So that's, that's how I'm going to solve that. And that was intentional. I'm going to take that on board on a future mocap session. So what else didn't go well? You may have noticed that I discussed early in that last video some motion capture stretch sense mocap gloves that we have. And I didn't actually use these in the end. And the main reason was that I was trying to get my retargeting sorted before the shoot started. Uh, and I didn't get that working. So the problem was with my rig. I had some joint orientations on my thumbs that were, was incorrect. And I decided to work that out on another time and just use optical mocap for the hands. Uh, another thing that didn't go well was audio. So we have an audio recorder. I even pointed it out in that last video when I was giving the studio tour. And in that video, I'm pretty sure I can see that that audio recorder is turned on, but for some reason, when it came time to roll, that audio recorder was not on and we didn't get any audio recorded with our motions. And this is a bit of a drag because our performance was dance related performances and having that audio recorded with the motions uh, as we have it set up would have been very helpful. So that's unfortunate. Another very unfortunate thing that didn't work was the reference video that we have set up. So we have a single video camera aimed at the volume and we use it to record reference video. We're recording it through the, the, the software that we, that we got with our uh, faceware set up through those video recorders that are in the rack that go with the faceware. So we're using that software to trigger the recording with a take name that matches our take in motive. It's all pretty nice. But on the day, uh, when I logged into the computer that runs that software, it wasn't set up for my user, and uh, I didn't know many of the ways that that's set up. So I wasn't able to get reference video either. So all of these things are not deal breakers. I still got great motions. I just It's just a little bit harder because I didn't get all those things to turn those great motions into final pixels. So some of the other things that I did this week were motion edit, and then I also hooked up my face again, I'll talk about that, and I also added some motion for the tail, some procedural motion that's going to come on the tail. So we'll take a look at those things now. So here we are in my project. First we'll take a look at what I'm doing with regard to the face. So off camera here I have my iPad already hooked up, and the, th the main thing that I needed to do, I had the face working uh, earlier in a gray shaded mode, uh, but I refactored it a little bit. I added in some eyelashes. Uh, I also wanted to use joint rotations for the eyes and jaw rather than uh, morphs or blend shapes for the eyes and jaw motion. Uh, and I saw how to do that using the AR kit Kite Boy example. You basically use a pose asset. So I have a pose asset here that has a bunch of individual poses for uh, things like jaw open where I've posed the jaw with a joint rotation and when the blend shapes come in 
sorry, when the uh, AR kit sends in the jaw open trigger, it's going to uh, move the jaw joint. And so this is working reasonably well. Here you can see it's not perfect, and I have not um, figured it figured out exactly how I can make it better. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed is it's a little bit slower than the blend shape. So it lags a bit, so I'm trying a custom curve to see if that helps, if I can drive that a little bit more fast. So I'll show you that a little bit. Uh, uh, it also, when it's fully open and I hold there, sometimes the jaw doesn't stick. Well, I can't get it to happen now. Well, you'll have to take my word for it. Uh, I also did the same thing for the eyes, so I'm using this to move my eyes here side to side. Uh, let me look at the iPad and that actually will make it work a little better. So there's side to side, up and down. And down I would like to drive a little bit more, but I've been having trouble with this get curve value. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't return me values even when I'm debugging. Uh, I would love anybody to share with me if they have any, um, any idea why this is not working for me. I looked at the MetaHuman example, that seems to use the same function and gets the same results. Um, I don't really know, but I would like to use this to modify these curves. I also have some um, correctives that I need to fire for the eye blinking so that the eye goes out a little bit as it blinks. So those, those are things I'm still working on, but I got the jaw and the eyes turning working, and I also have a head rotation working using the MetaHuman example again. And for some reason, the MetaHuman example sets some variables over in the event graph, like so. Uh, and I'm doing the same. I'm not sure why the, they're not using this getCurveValue function here for these, um, these curve values. This is another mystery to me, but I, I basically did what they're doing, and it's uh, working fine. So the other thing that I worked on this week was the tail. So I wanted to find a way to get some uh, motion in the tail. And I'm using, um, and I'm going to use Anim Dynamics for this, basically. So I set this up in a way that was described for the little dinosaur, procedural motion dinosaur video from uh, Epic with a bunch of capsules with their weights uh, decreasing as it goes down, down the chain. Uh, and I added a little bit of linear motor, and you can see it's gonna gonna move a bit. So I, I think this could be better, but I think it's going to be good enough for me to get started uh, posting. Those are my main updates on the project for the moment. I plan to, from here, uh, start to assemble some of my motions, move it through the motion edit phase, and then uh, put it together, make some final pixels, and get some posts happening. So until next time, thank you very much once again for watching, and you take care.